Hello and welcome. Today is uh, Wednesday, 7th day of uh, September 2016. Today's video, the Bitcoin featured with the U.S. currency rankings and it's in at 610, up about one and two thirds today or about a quarter of a percent. And that's one of the first things that I noticed within this is the volatility. This entire run here, the start of this point, big, big blue, green and red candles or high volatile moves and that continued on through in here and then tiny volatility before the fall, which apparently I guess this was hacking of some sort. I don't follow the uh, actual fundamentals too much and will continue not to do so. But I know there's a demand for people within this chart analysis. So that's basically what I'm going to go over is basically the technical aspect within it. But and here volatility again remaining low and I see 1.42 percent. That's pretty much stock market related and well. NASDAQ, I don't know. Dow Jones is about 1% right now, which is very, very low. But gold and silver, much higher than 142. And the median volatility of 2.37 basically states that the 50th largest volatile day is just that. As far as some key things, as I can see, this breakout here on the sideways band has now... Uh, had four sideways candles, a very bullish looking setup on, of course, a low volatile move. You can see that it's making a small uptrend over the last four days with uh, resistance pr practically where it's at now, just a little over 610. And you get a significant break. You could have situations sort of like you did five days ago where you have a significantly noticeable green candle up. It's also bullish to have a small downward move and maybe test previous resistance in the 18 average band, which would be 580 and change, 587, 588 area, even down to 577 or so to this point. And then, of course, if that were to happen, it's just a matter of making a higher low, of course, and then having a move that would break above it. You're like, OK, you get the break. You're expecting significant gains post that move. As far as the Fibonacci retracement is concerned, I didn't know which ones to use. I thought about using this high with this low. I thought about using this breakdown area with this low. But I decided just to do the biggest high and biggest low that I can see on here. And obviously after that uh, huge uh, crash move, right back into the 38.2% immediately and holding that point. And now it's up to the second Fibonacci level of 61.8%, which is in at about 622 as the next key point. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.